Major change is coming to the world of motion pictures. By the end of this year, thousands of drive-in theaters in America could be a thing of the past. 59 News reporter Kelsey Borza finds out how you can um, help save one out here in southern West Virginia. The American pastime of pulling up to a drive-in theater could be silenced by the end of the year. We had people last night that had never been to a drive-in. They pulled into the ticket office and they said, now what do we do? In just a few months, movies on film will be a thing of the past. And the ticket seller, which is my wife, she said, well, just give me your money first. Howard McClanahan has owned the Meadowbridge Drive-In for more than 30 years, and he's determined to do whatever it takes to keep his doors open and his memories alive. Oh, we get regulars every week. We have some that come here and they tell me it don't make any difference what's playing. We don't even call, we just come. He says coming to the drive-in theater is almost the only thing for families to do in Meadow Bridge. When I was just a kid, me and my brothers and my dad would come out here and we'd bring a big pack, bag of popcorn. We'd sit in the back of the truck and watch the movies while my mom worked. But he says he really loves sharing the icon with new visitors. The picture from the 35 millimeter film had streaks in it. And you know, you had the sound and the popping and the cracking like an old record. McClanahan had to fork over more than $60,000 for his new digital system. Up until about six months ago, the movies came on a reel like this, which held 35 millimeter film. And one movie took six of these on this projector. Now all they need is one little hard drive. But now there's a chance for you to help keep them alive. It's a nationwide contest and you can vote to save five of America's drive-in theaters. In Summers County, Kelsey Borza, 59 News.